Hey everybody, it's Flame, aka P. Uh, a couple of people had asked me to do a video tutorial of this little pom pom flower that I made, and I made this out of the uh, vintage sewing patterns. My mom's a seamstress, and she has a ton of patterns left over um, from when she was sewing, so I snagged some of them to play with. Anyway, how I created this was I used some um, Spellbinders die, as this one, and it's S4 192, it's the blossom. And I picked this up at um, Michael's with my 40% off coupon. Um, like, I think it was $13 or something like that. Um, and the Gallet Michaels informed me that they're going to stop letting you use a coupon for these. So if you want it, get it now. Anyway, um, I thought I would show you how to put this together. It's It actually goes uh, pretty quickly. I'm trying a new camera view, so if this works out, guys, let me know. Anyway, you're going to cut um, either tissue paper. You could use pattern paper. You could use whatever you want. Um, as far as tissue goes, you're going to cut, um, for the sample that I did, I did seven of these, um, which is the largest size. You use all of them except for the little itty bitty one. Um, and then the next one you're going to do nine. Oh, it's going to go right there. And then... The next size down, you're going to do um, nine as well. And I alternated them so that, the, sorry guys, I alternated them so that the petals would be um, in between each other. And the next size, I did 13. And I'm throwing them all around, and I'm seriously at a camera. Sorry, guys. And then the last one, I did nine. And so essentially, you're just going to take these and let me zoom out just a tiny bit. Let's see if that doesn't help. There. Um, and so what you can do is just kind of layer these together and gather them up and punch a hole and put a brad in it. Now I did one out of white tissue paper, um, all ready to go to save a little time. And so you're going to start with the first one and you're just going to gather it like this just kind of and crunch it and you're gonna gather it again and crunch it and I'll try to get a little closer to the camera so you guys can see me do this sorry guys new camera angle trying to get it to work so you're just gonna gather it grab it it's kinda hard to do with one thumb I'm telling you but I still have a thumb, so we can celebrate. And then crunch it. And I will tell you, on this particular flower, I did um, a few more petals, just because I wanted to see what it would look like if it was fuller. So we'll both be seeing it at the same time. So can you guys see that, that I'm just taking it and just kind of crunching it up? I hope you guys are getting this. I've only got five minutes left. And just keep crunching. And you can manipulate this later. Getting a hold of them might be the tricky part. They actually go pretty quick if you have two thumbs. <laughs> So we'll just keep, keep 
keep going on here just lifting it and it doesn't matter if it is you got a fold or whatever and you cut them out and just keep popping it up and crunching I said this is a much fuller one so I imagine that it's going to be really cool and I'll tell you guys I did um, Oh, on this one I did 7, 9, 9, 13, 9, and the other one I did 6, 7, 6, 10, and 8. So, I goofed. I'm sorry. And just keep fluffing. You guys will have to forgive my skin. Um, four and a half months of steroids and antibiotics to kill that blood poisoning caused my eczema to come out raging so we're trying homeopathic stuff to see if that doesn't help now because nothing seems to be working so, and then when you get to the bigger ones um, just do the same thing just keep crunching but I try to give it a little more shape if possible Seriously, running out of time. I did not figure that it would take me this long to do this. So I'm just going to keep scratching away. really exciting video <laughs> okay guys I'm gonna stop here and then continue on because you guys don't need to see me do all of this it'll drive you crazy I'll be right back okay guys I'm back so I've got it in a little ball like this and now I'm simply just gonna start It kinda looks like a poppy in a way or maybe a peony I don't know anyway you're just gonna start manipulating it um, fluffing it out and then at this point because this is white or even this one you could um, like this one I glimmer misted with uh, or glitz spitzed I'm sorry Lindy Stamp Gang my favorite um, Royal Amber Fire which is not really a gold gold to me it's more of a champagne color really really pretty because I'm not really a gold gold kind of girl anyway um, so you're just going to keep manipulating it and then you could spritz it and at this point you could even do um, glass glitter or diamond dust or um, what I was thinking about doing this with this one is a little bit of stickles maybe along the edge I don't know we're just going to have to play with it and see so um, when I go to cut these out what I do is I um, take the tissue paper and I fold it over a couple of times for the big ones and then um, I just put my die right on there and plop it in the um, Big Shot. So there you go ladies. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. I will try to do the tutorial for the needle felted daisies tomorrow. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Okay, talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment. Bye-bye.